Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern time, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you go on the left-hand side, you're going to see the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of uh, $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Basel has a huge amount of archives that are out there. Also, when you get the newsletter, you're going to get all the archives. You're going to understand how Basel looks at the market every day and how he uses the tools that are on all of those archives each and every day. Basil Chapman, it's a little chilly in Boston right now. It's going to be warming up very soon. They'll be, <laughs> <laughs> be outside. Well, you know, it's funny. Caitlin's down here, and she was telling me it's 28. And I said, 28, man. We're sitting outside having, dinner, you know, lunch at yeah. 85. And it, it's it is. Believe, it's, 30, huh? it's 37 in Boston. It feels like 28, folks. Okay, so, wow. Yeah, that, yeah that's because you get used to whatever it is. But this, <laughs> uh, this has been a pretty darn good winter, I must say. Yeah, you know, no snow. I know. Global warming. Yeah. yeah, global warming says in this particular instance, very little snow. So, yes. So, talking about things falling down, we're looking at the Dow, which is okay. up its high of 39,889 in this daily chart here. We pull back from this. So, these are the techniques I discussed in my webinar, the last webinar I did a week ago, Tuesday. I discussed the, the, how you use the inside track, how this little mini channel right here can become right there, can become a repellent zone. When it comes at the bottom, it could be a propellant zone. So those are techniques that I talk about and we try to use in the positions that we have. Now, at this particular time, the weekly chart is still very strong. So we've got core long positions, but we have started, uh, uh, again, we've got a, a short-term trading position short in the Dow. My anticipation is that there might be a rally, but I think it's going to uh, create this pattern I call the H, uh, dreaded H pattern where comes down sharply and then makes a little arch formation and comes back and retests the left side low and takes it out. That's what I'm, I'm looking for. But um, the, the nine period moving average, you know, I've spoken to you about this for some time and I did this in the webinar as well. I was showing how, so this is, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. That's uh, DraftKings. But right now I'm talking about the Dow. So look, this is the daily chart. On the left, you've got uh, this, the chart with this bar chart with the green uh, on the way up and red on the way down. The nine period moving average is this little light green line. The black line is a 14 period moving average. This is the on balance volume. So on the right, it's just three, three things. This is the gray is the actual price as the current price daily chart. And then you've got the green and the black. And you can see that every pullback has still seen the green line hold but I'm, I'm thinking that the next pullback, if, if there is a sharp pullback over the next few days going to, say, the beginning of April, then we will go underneath. That green line will go underneath the black line, and that will start. It'll change to pink, and that will be negative. So I'm anticipating that. It hasn't happened yet. But there are a couple of things that I've started to do. I've taken some profits, uh, just little small bits off, long positions, for instance, We've been long for quite a while, a couple of years, actually, the DB Agricultural Fund. And I kept wondering, the grains were not doing well. And I just said, no, I don't know why this is going up, but the chart looks fantastic. And then I realized the other day I had spoken about this on my show, but I just didn't put the two things together. If you look at CC, which is cocoa. Yeah, right. I mean, you, won't, <laughs> you, won't, you won't believe this. I mean, talking about rocket, this is a monthly chart. Yep. And from the moment in September uh, of 22, 2022, September, we are now in March of 2024. And this has been, there has not been a peak all the way up. That is still a leg A to the upside. In the this is cocoa. Yeah. Uh, so we've gone for over get out two there and buy chocolate, folks. Yeah. Go go find I, I stores like that. that don't know that cocoa's going at ten thousand bucks a ton. You know it's oh. wild too about that DBA Basil is that that's the largest weighting in that whole DBA. You know it, it's twelve. I didn't realize that. It's twelve point four percent. 
Correct. Higher than that is just government bonds. So it's right, and I, I showed that to subscribers this morning. I, I sent out the, the the chart of the components, and I, I said I didn't realize that it had gone, and that was really a very big influence. Now I think that um, cocoa is getting a little toppy here, and I'm anticipating there is going to be a pullback, and I'm watching it very closely. So we took a little bit off our DBA. We've got about a 77 percent uh, gain in this since we've had it. Uh, uh, we took a little bit off, but I'm watching it closely. Now, something I thought I would mention because I talk about the different techniques that I, I show subscribers to my opening call, and we uh, we talk about them. I have a, a video every weekend for about an hour, and I discuss these different patterns and, and the charts and the stocks that we have. So we've got um, DraftKings from about uh, January, around about the 37, 38 level, and it was a pattern when it hit this 45 point. This is the daily chart on the left. It hit this pattern. It made a cup formation and then pulled back. And I'd actually forgotten that I uh, typed this in. I actually in enlarged this where it says chap wave cup and handle, cup and ladle to leg D. The difference between a cup and handle, for those of you who look at classic uh, formations, um, the, the cup and handle makes the cup formation and then it makes a little bit, it looks like a teacup, and then it has a little bit of a handle and then it breaks to the upside. Investors Business Daily has a whole thing for decades about how they use it, but you've got to time it perfectly. My problem with it is that invariably, if you, even if you time it correctly, it pops over the left side lip and then it comes back into the handle and it just stays there. So I developed a long time ago when I discovered that if in the Chapman methodology, you break out about above the left side lip, that's 45.62 in this case, that was back in, uh, in February. If you can take that out in leg C, it says you should go to at least a D, and then you've got to be careful, and then you can come back and test the lip. That would be 45.62. So we took a little bit off today. A uh, very nice gain in this. But what's interesting is it's just gone to that leg D. And it broke out in the pattern that we were talking about. It's in a leg D in the weekly. And in both cases, the technicals are still very strong. And it's in a leg E in the uh, monthly chart. The all-time high was 74.38 back in March of 2021. So I, I like this very much. Personally, I'm actually not for sports betting. I just, uh, I've, you know, I grew up in the amateur when uh, the Olympic Games was amateur. So I guess I fight, it just, I'm not used to that. But in the meantime, back in the um, back, back in the weekly chart, you can see that this breakout had. I'll, I'll open this up and I'll show it in a little bit more detail. Look at this; I, it's really like a bowl formation. You can call it. A, I, I call it a cup, but basically it's a bowl, and it broke out and it's walking the nine period moving average. You can see from the last time that it crossed in the weekly chart positive was in February, the week of the third. It was in the 17 area. And it's just walked this green line all the way. And this is a weekly chart. So this is looking very good to me. It should pull back a little bit soon. But I, I think that we're looking at stocks under the radar that could go against any major market trend if there is a sudden turn down. And folks, it's very easy to get back to the newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the right-hand side. Basil, you have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.